system to become a catechist of the analysis. So the following year, they can earn the cash. Okay. So, siguro, yun yung isang uh, para sa akin. Kasi we were able to introduce that uh, program na dati, hindi ka doon ka So, meron ang uh, award to this regard. No, yung sa cooperative relationships na mga Siguro yung isang nagkaroon kami ng cooperative relationships kasi nung nagkaroon kami ng DPD, isa rin sa mga nag-crop na problem is regarding the funds. <laughs> kasi yun ang problem na nagkaroon. So, we come up with a decision na why don't we come up with a foundation for the case. So, nangyari, I was not expecting na Ganon magiging cooperative yung mga katekista. Kasi magamat may mga target persons kami na pupunta, yung initial funding, it comes from them. 
Okay, let us hear somebody to share an example of number one. Father, can we listen to you? You don't want to be fine. Can we can we share from your sharing? For question in answer to question number one.
So, but it is nice to see when there is collaborative effort from all sectors. So, what is your positive experience, sister, with regards to relationships? So, yung, uh, yung experience about, about this is yung ginagawa namin na isa sa nagtitipi for last year na yung isa sa nagtitipi Kasi ang nangyari, um, tinatapo uh, namin yung lahat ang uh, halos lahat ng mga apostolates to the Isisa Newt Apostolate to help us, the family and life to help us, the political apostolate to help us. So, so ang ginawa ay yung mga youth sila ang nag-share sa mga, sa mga katikis, um, ibang mga apostolate na nga, sila yung parang may iba-ibang mga assignment na lahat ng mga. What was the result of that, sister? Kasi okay, sinasabi ni isang na bishop namin ay lupa man lang yun na rin kasi ang lahat nag-cooperate. Okay, yan ang sinabi ng bishop nyo. Ikaw, ano ang masasabi mo? Ganun din po. I am very happy kasi uh, yun bang may hindi lang po na naniniwala sila sa akin pero lahat po kami ay na-empower. Okay. Na-recognize po namin ang iba't ibang mga talents na into one whole activity. Very good. So sometimes there is only one man rule or one woman rule. In this case, there is collaborative effort because several commissions were invited to participate. And it is very good to find out that everybody does their work because they are given importance in terms of doing something for the greater good of the... Very good, sister. Now let's... Uh, very good. Let's say very good. Ready, go. And let us listen from the day. Yes, madam. Number three na tayo. Types of communication. I'm sorry, kasi yung siguro ang muna po is first para may anak ko. Kasi ang nakapagpasay sa akin, one, uh, one, uh, one high point for yes. me is this seminar. No? Okay. Why are we here? Because of a, uh, a gift from a catechist to undergo formation with us. So, nabilation. So, nakalagay na nito. So, sabi ko dito sa number three, uh, types of communication, generosity begins generosity, and love begins love. Plant a thought, rip an act, plant an act, rip a habit, plant a habit, rip a virtue, and plant a virtue, rip a character, plant a character, and rip a destiny. So this gift, the gift of persons, the gift of commitment, and the gift of formation is also a gift for us. Yeah. Okay, that's good, but that's generic. You know, generic meaning to say it is, uh, how do you call that, general. So what is asked here is um, for you. Why? Because it is looking forward to answers to question number two. That is why you have to specify. Remember our characteristics for our aims? Smart, specific, measurable, attainable, what is our realistic and time bound? So follow that all the time. You know? It has to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. Smart. So we go to the next now, uh, which is about dreaming. So number two, imagine questions facilitate analysis of why a particular process works well and help brainstorm ways to apply the knowledge elsewhere. So, you are looking forward now, you look forward now, how can your uh, ministry be better? With all these positive identifications, you have, with, with the answers that you have given, you have positively identified what can be used, what is good in that particular uh, group. Communication, everybody communicated, so everybody participated. Uh, there was trust and confidence given by your superiors, therefore you feel great. What else can be done so that your ministry can improve? <coughs> what else can be done so that the commission can uh, 
uh, reap more fruits or reap uh, better fruits. That's why the question here, here is, what does the catechetical ministry in my local church have the capacity to become? No? And becoming. Uh, if I speak for myself for the biblical ministry, it is capable of becoming the umbrella for all the other commissions because uh, Pope Benedict has identified the Bible ministry to be integrated in all the other ministries. You cannot have sound catechesis without the Bible. You cannot have uh, BEC without the Bible, of course. You cannot have liturgy, the liturgical commission without the Bible. Youth ministry uh, will not be alive without the Bible. Social action, social action without the Bible is going to drain you because there is no biblical aspect. That is why I look forward to the Bible apostolate to become the umbrella of all the other commissions in the Philippines. Not only in the Philippines, but in the whole of Asia, considering the fact that uh, Cardinal Tagle was elected as the uh, chairman, the president of the FABC, the Federation of, I know, not the FABC, the, the Biblical Commission here in Asia. And uh, he was asking, he said, I'm not a Bible scholar, how come you elected me as the Bible, the president of the CBF, Confederation of, uh, what do you call it now? CBF, Confederation of Biblical uh, Commission in the whole of Asia. And the answer that he got was, oh, because the, the reports that we get from Asia is always complete, especially that of the Philippines. Why is it always complete? Because we have many activities in the Philippines and all these activities are listed down and then we submit it to Rome, of course. And then it looks like, of course, in Asia, there are many activities and then they said, let us have a meeting again every five years, we have a meeting uh, in Asia. So this year the meeting is in the Trump, that is going to be in Vietnam. And I look at the, what is going to be talked about there, the family and the Bible, oh my goodness, we finished that already. Bishop Ambo was the speaker already, Marbell, about that. Uh, the family and the Bible. Now we're going to repeat it in Natra. Balik tag. Kasi dapat, uh, what okay. is coming from the, from the bigger body should flow down to the different parts, the different uh, countries in Southeast Asia. Balik tag. Galing sa Pilipinas, tapos you put it there in the... So I said, I'm not going. But the bishop said, no, 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 you have to come. Because you will be the one to write down the process. Okay. Mm. It will be, and the same speaker will have Bishop Abbas, our speaker, again. So, I said, I have already this PowerPoint, I don't have to go. No, you have to go. Okay, vow of obedience. <laughs> All right, so, I look forward, so this is dreaming, no? I look forward to the day when the Biblical Apostolate is going to be the umbrella for all the other commissions here in the Philippines. How about you, your local church? your local group. For example, in Nueva Ecija, ka, Father, no? you are in Bontok Lagawe. You are in Vigan? In the? No, Bontok Lagawe also. All right, in Tago. What do you dream your catechetical ministry there to be? That is the question here, to become. How could working together make a difference? What do you see as priorities? So this is dreaming, so this is looking forward. So now that you have identified what is positive, what is workable, what is doable, what can happen, uh, what happened, no? The positive things that happen. Now we are looking forward with much optimism. So you are going to identify what can your catechetical ministry become in the future, like five years from now, or even just next year or three years from now, it's good to have strategic planning and dream. Sometimes dreams uh, bring about reality. How could working together make a difference? All right? That is partnership, you know, working together, because sometimes in some areas, there can be sort of like, uh, you know, work, and some people do not know how to delegate, and that proves to be very uh, detrimental for the group. 
detrimental for any other group when somebody takes the function all by himself, herself. She's the only one running around and everybody is standing waiting what to do because she does not delegate or he does not delegate as if the ministry belongs to her or to him. Now here, we're trying to see how could working together make a difference? Uh, you have already said that, wow, we saw each other's goodness. We saw each other's capacity to contribute and to volunteer. More and more teachers are retiring. So there are more and more volunteers. So when you overlook them, they feel hurt because they feel they can still do something. But they are snubbed because they're already senior citizens. But uh, I read the book where it says, don't use the word senior citizen. You are forgetful because your dish is full. <laughs> <laughs> Using the language of the internet. And the third question here in phase two is, what part could you play in making the priorities happen? That is now personally directed to you. What is your share? What is your personal contribution to make this dream come true? You should have a big contribution because you're a director, you're the priest, you're the director, you're the one, you're the horse, and everybody is there is in the cart. Craft your personal vision for your catechetical ministry. So the second question is a personal vision. Craft a personal vision for your catechetical ministry. Um, we have mission, diba? Right? And then we have uh, we have vision and then we have mission. The mission is the carrying out of the vision, the vision of your catechetical. What is your personal vision about your catechetical ministry? Okay, so you can write it down now. You have five minutes, uh, ten minutes, I think, or fifteen minutes to write that.